Fluffies! This is part two of my 2019 wardrobe post where I show you all my Lolita accessories. So if you have not watched part one already, it's about the blouses, I will put a link, you can go watch it now. I will tell you about in more detail what kind of the concept I will do about my wardrobe post and there will be a third video with all my dresses that you see here but actually you will not see in this video. This video will only be about accessories. I hope it's not too long because I have tons and okay the concept is last year I did a challenge wear it or sell it and so if under one year I did not wear anything in my wardrobe I have to sell it. So maybe that's your luck and you have to look in my lace market. You'll find the link in the description and maybe you'll find something nice. And yeah, I will try and find when and where I've worn everything and maybe I will put photos, but for accessories it will be so difficult. And so long for every little clip. I don't know how I will do that. It's gonna be a huge challenge. But let's try and then if something has not been worn in a year, we'll see. Okay, let's go. My name is Joelle and you're watching Fluffy Kawaii Jojo channel where I try to show you that everybody can be kawaii. I do videos on Mondays and Thursdays, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So if you've seen the video about me organizing my closet, clean with me, Lolita Edition, then you see that I have accessories there shoes there and here I have another part with the blouses and I have more accessories there and more accessories in the bottom so there is a lot okay let's go so for my shoes we are here and this is the new thing I have to sh put my shoes on okay so first I have this pair of secret shop that are probably replicas from Angelic Pretty but I bought them on Aliexpress. They are pretty but completely destroyed because I worn them in the botanical garden meet and this was not a good idea to go in a muddy place under the rain in white shoes and heels. Definitely not a good idea. Those shoes Wondering when I did wear them last. Can't remember. I know Maybe it was last year. I have to check. It was at one of the Harajuku fashion walks with Marianne and we spent Two hours before the walk walking around my city to show it to Marianne and I had those shoes and by the time the actual fashion walk started I was dead. It was really too hurting and the, the heels are so hard but those are the only uh, mean shoes that I could find mean shoes are really hard to find so so far I have to go with this those are queen bee shoes and maybe I will try and find them lower or make them like these and we'll see these I wear all the time and are so destroyed yeah I don't like that the sole is black because then they're really black like here and here and even broken here could maybe worn buy more or get more I don't know those are from Borderline and they're super low heels and with these shoes I can do a whole day in Disney or anything and it doesn't hurt so I love those shoes they are so comfortable but they're completely destroyed and it's so cool to have gold shoes it goes with everything this is a base color I would say even more than white in my case I can wear it with everything when was the last time Phew. basically every convention most of the time even if my dress don't fit I wear those because they're so comfortable so definitely I wore them under the year several times I told you in the first video um, a few things that I bought from Mila knew they were okay. Those shoes, but from Mila knew they were okay. Same issue here. The black also completely destroyed and also makes weird stains here. So, yep. 
those are like wedges those are my first shoes and actually i wore them to I bought them to wear with my first dress. I mean, I wanted Lolita shoes and my first dress with this. Where are you? Here. And that was my first. Okay, you cannot see it. And basically, it's a maroon dress. Like this color. And yeah, I had Lolita shoes and I had a Lolita dress. So let's put them together. And pff, wasn't even the same color. So the coordinate was terrible. But. Yep, my first shoes and actually for Milano they're okay and they're completely destroyed now but they're more than 10 years old and I've worn them all the time and right now I don't really like them but I don't really have any other pink shoes so maybe I should totally see which kind of shoes and colors of shoes I need especially like maroon I have many maroon dresses and I have no maroon shoes and I have to make them with fluffy jewelry to wear them okay so probably I will get rid of those shoes I don't even know if I can sell those shoes they're so destroyed maybe I will just offer them to someone who wouldn't mind having them anyways those huh. I have not worn them yet but it's not been a year, so it's fine. Those are the shoes that I bought with my uh, challenge to buy stuff in Wish. And even though my size is like 8.5, I wear like 38, 39, I took 40 in European size and it's still too small. It's very thin here, so I don't really recommend this model also very annoying it's not clips you know like you have to put in the things here and there's not enough holes unless this you have a snap and i love those snaps because you do once here and then you snap and unsnap it even though i usually need help to snap it in because it's really really hard but uh, i really prefer that than these. So I have not worn them yet actually uh, because they are so tight they are very uncomfortable so I don't want to wear them. I mean I don't wear shoes in videos. You can see I am actually don't look at my socks. I don't have Lolita tights or anything so it's only for meats and uh, they're too tight I don't want to wear them and usually if it's lavender I can go away with the white or black or gold with the lavender dress whatever so maybe you know what I think I will sell these because it's lavender but I don't really use them so let's sell these yay something more space in my closet okay those I like very much let me tell you maybe it's another time for a review for um fluffy tory but okay i made some um, very casual navy shoes for me because i needed navy shoes and so the shape is so comfortable because it's so round and it goes a lot well with the with sweet the heel is low so it's very comfortable the whole shoe is super comfortable also i took it size uh, size 40 so you should uh, go size up the only two things that i don't really like is that um we made it with detachable clips so one was supposed to be in the back but it's so uncomfortable to have the back of the clip here uh, that I removed it instantly and even here when I was in one airport I lost it and so I went back on my way to find it and so I didn't lose it actually I found it back but then it can detach and so maybe I'll talk more about that issue in a review of fluffy toe shoes but I think I will leave let people the option of getting the detachable clip if they want but if they don't mind by design i will just uh, sew it and have it attached because i don't really we wanted maybe to make it here but i did not even think about doing that with the other one so yeah basically you can remove it here or add it here but I don't know maybe if you want one extra bow or not at some place we can also make that because we made them uh, to order so I think it's better to have them where you want and then attached once and for all I guess anyways and also I'm not really happy about that it looks 
cheap in my opinion but it's super easy to do exactly the size that you want so so far it goes so yeah we can definitely work more on the design but they are super comfortable and those are also borderline uh, shoes these ones are 25.0 those were 25.5 those are a little big um i read the comments and then uh, usually my japanese size is 24.5 and so it said it um sized small so i took a full size up and now i have to wear an extra big stall in it because it's too big but also maybe it makes it super comfortable this one i just went with half a size up and that's good so maybe that's it and yeah it was broken i had to uh, also attach it back I mean, I've also worn those a lot, a lot, and they are kind of in a very good shape, actually, compared to other ones that I've worn so much. And so, yeah, I highly recommend this model from Borderline 2. It's very, very comfortable, even though the heel is quite high. It's, yeah, I love them. And the last pair of shoes that I own is actually, it was a sample from... Uh, Fluff Dory 2 that I kept using for my things and so I decided to keep using it for me and I love them and this is the sweet chocolate journey boots like a uh, low boots and you can see here the dripping chocolate trim that is actually also in leather and yeah they're so comfortable too really really nice so yep those are worn a lot too not really outside, mostly indoors for tea parties or stuff like that. Not really outside, but they're very comfortable. I wouldn't tell you uh, that they are comfortable if they were not, <laughs> just because it's my design and uh, also Mezzo's design. But I'm happy that actually we found a supplier that makes really nice looking shoes and that are so comfortable and some design i'm not happy with them and uh, we redid them because they're too tight or something but those that i own and that i wear they are very comfortable so yeah all those shoes i didn't tell you but yeah i've worn them all within the year definitely maybe not the pink one but i lended them to somebody who wore them this year so i guess it counts right i don't know i want to get rid of these anyways and uh, buy more shoes so i know for a fact that the factories that make the shoes don't have anything mint that really is really sad and we have i will definitely buy a princess layer shoe two maybe the one in maroon because i have many maroon ott dresses and maybe i will use that design to make a glitter one maybe a glitter gold one or something like that to replace or pink glitter pink would be absolutely beautiful uh yeah i have some uh, samples but they're not my size so i cannot wear them yes so that was it for the shoes and already 15 minutes for the shoes oh my god maybe i should split this video in more i just talk so much i am so sorry guys i hope that you are doing something useful maybe folding your laundry or cleaning or whatever or organizing your closet maybe okay let's go to bags okay bags this bag is a three-way bag that I bought on my Lolita dress and I've worn it in the Angelic Pretty Tea Party. I thought I would wear it more actually. It's so pretty, it's kind of big and it's mint and it has detachable wings that you can put other stuff in, very very cool. But I've not worn it that much more. I don't know why. I love it. So pretty. This is the handbag that goes with the long ears and sharp ears. Goldfish and firework dress. There was a misunderstanding because I paid in full and they thought they were still waiting for my partial payment or anything. And so then they sent me a bunch of other accessories to uh, repay me for the weight and so I got this there very nice I worn it on that day I guess with their skirt this bag is I don't know which collection a Boston bag from Angelic Pretty chocolate you can see the texture of the chocolate 
it was a little bit damaged, way less than it is now. And so I bought it for 500 yen, $5 in Closet Child. And so at some point the peeling was not too bad when I hold it, it would not see. And also uh, so damaged that I had to sell it so cheap. But right now the quality is really... I mean, it's really falling to pieces and it really sucks because the bag is so pretty. I mean, it's just the piping all around in here. The main material, the chocolate one is safe, but I don't know. I have seen a thread where people try to fix it. I'm way too lazy to try and fix a $5 bag, but I'm super sad for the people who actually paid like $150 for this gorgeous bag and it ends up like that. That's such a shame, but for $5 my investment is safe and I've worn it in the chocolate uh, meat last year, I think. By the way, if you hear a weird sound, uh, the people downstairs just moved out and they're remodeling the whole apartment and so it's terrible noise, I'm sorry. My favorite bag ever, you know that, this is Alice's big clock I guess from Baby the Session Bride. It's gorgeous, I love it. This you will like in half of the coordinates you see me outside I'm wearing this bag because it's the best bag ever. This is a Uzakumiya smartphone pouch. I was looking for it for so long and I've only worn it once I guess with my phone in it in one of the uh, Harajuku fashion work and also used it in uh, photo shoot as just a bag, like crossbody bag. It's so pretty. I love it so much. It's very cute. This bag I also wear a lot. It's actually a bag from Long Ears and Sharp Ears Studio and it's white. At some point it has some decoloration but I think it, no it's still, I think the metal here like damaged the, the white, pearly white of the bag. But I love it so much. It's also very big, a little bit smaller than the baby one and it's pure white so it's easier to wear depending on the coordinates but I also wear this bag a lot. This is my Shelly May uh, actually pass. I don't know how to say that bag for travel cards and it also has a pouch and I've worn it every day when I was in uh, Hong Kong and I loved it so much and right now it's just here but I'm super looking forward to add it to more of my coordinates maybe the chocolate ones or oh it will be super cute with the distress the macaron ones yeah I'm looking forward to wear it in uh, in summer when I travel I think this is really like the thing you want to have with you so you can just have so small things where you can just take from your bag without having to go from your backpack so yay this bag from baby desertion right was in a magazine i can't remember which one melt or something and uh, it's actually huge for what i thought you can put a lot of things in this bag. It's a crossbody bag. You cannot really adjust the length or anything. It was really a cheap thing. But the quality is kind of good. It's not broken yet. And actually the colors matched a lot with this dress and strawberry. So I wore it with it, except for the blue. I could not find any blue in it. But yeah, at least it's safe because I bought it. Uh, also for the magazine but also I was sure I could use it with this dress but if I keep this dress I can totally wear different kind of bags and uh, this bag I could not really wear with anything else maybe I have to find something but maybe this one is not safe and I will see if I should sell it or not we'll see next year if I use it. The thing is I don't want to clutter my wardrobe with things that I'm not wearing. This is the whole point of where to sell it. Doesn't mean that I don't have the liberty of selling things that I have worn and maybe this one has to go. Okay so more random things. This bag I am pretty sure I have not used it in a year and maybe it's the time to sell it. 
And this is the third thing that I bought at Milanu. That was actually okay. I don't know if it's a replica or for another bag or something. I think it's pretty. It says mini inside. And it's a brand called Loris. Okay, and you know what? Actually, even though I worn it a lot, inside it's all good. And so, yeah, the quality was very nice, I guess. So, I've not used it in a year and I have actually not really any pink dresses. So, usually I'm good with the more basic color. I really need a gold bag, I guess. I will, I've seen very nice ones in gold and also black bag. I will definitely buy a black bag and a gold bag and I will sell this one. This one has a ribbon here, but I lost it a while ago. I bought it with... when I was in Japan and I had just bought this dress, so like maybe 10 years ago. And it was super cheap, can't remember, but something also like less than 10 bucks, maybe. 500 yen, 525, something like that. And um, yeah, actually I thought it was perfect because it was also velvet and maroon and yep, and some lace, but I used it a lot back then, but now that I have many more options, usually I tend not to do uh, bag on the same color I would with this dress go with a white bag to have a contrasting color to see the bag not hide the bag like for example if I do it on this dress I you don't see my dress or the bag so it's no point so yeah I think I'm also ready to sell it let's see if somebody wants to buy it actually this weekend I'm going to a convention where I have a booth and there I'm uh, also selling secondhand stuff, mine and uh, other people from the community, they can sell their stuff in my booth. So the perfect place to put all this because I wasn't there to put that on lace market. And last one, I am pretty sure I, I think I never used it. It's been more than a year. And today, as of today I'm filming this video is February 14th and it's Valentine's Day and tonight I'm doing a live stream for Valentine's Day and I thought I had nothing related to whatever Valentine's Day theme and I found this. So I guess it counts if I use it tonight and uh, maybe I don't have to sell it but also maybe I will sell it because I don't see this is is it red or is it very dark pink reddish and pink and white and gold and actually I don't really have anything yeah maybe this one but then the pink is not the same so I would find it very difficult to match anything that I own and it's so tiny you can put anything and again it was with a magazine maybe like the catalog of um, like MOOC for Manjil Pretty or something like that so I think maybe it will be the theme of my live stream tonight and try and find something to wear it with and maybe after that I would decide if I will keep it or not but I don't think I need it and even though it's cute I don't want to clutter my wardrobe so this will stay for tonight okay wigs I have eight wigs I did not realize that and I will just try and find examples of me wearing those wigs because want to take them all out it will take ages so this is my pastel wig that I own for a lot of time lots of year even though maybe before I worn Lolita it's from gothic and Lolita wigs and gothic Lolita wigs and I've actually worn it several times in recent videos and people seem to like it very much then it doesn't go with a lot of things because it's really blue and uh, pink and I don't have dresses in those colors. This one is the puppy ear wig. This is the one I worn with uh, Rosaline when I was doing her interview and everything. And it's kind of short and it has two parts here, very uh, curly and it's kind of weird, but I don't hate it, but it's weird. This is my main big 
first kind of Lolita wig that I bought in Japan and I bought it at uh, Okadaya um, craft store it used to be nice and now it looks like nothing and I should take a time to detangle it and uh, right now I'm just wearing it for action Lolita I guess this one is my new favorite wig that I think looks so natural like brown long wig and I love it bodyline oh and first uh, one puppy ear wig also bodyline this one is my blonde wig <laughs> still has, I know, it still has the styling that we did with Peel for the Angelic Pretty Tea Party in July. We are in February. Uh, just it took so long and uh, I actually like it, but now since it's so much in the back, it tears it down a little bit, so uh, it's kind of hard to keep it in my head, but... Uh, yeah, I love it and it's from Lock Shop. This one is a short mint wig that actually I bought it on Wish and I wasn't sure about what it will look like and um, it's actually nice. And this one is also from Bodyline. Bodyline is very good for wigs and also for shoes. So kind of happy. Uh, I like it very much, it's a nice color and everything, I like it. So all of them I definitely worn it within the year and of course my lavender wig that is actually on my couch with the comb because I had to take it to take care of it in front of TV and I forgot and it's there and I don't want to take it because I'm lazy but of course I will put a picture here in case you have never seen me with my lavender wig which welcome to my channel because this is this must be the first video that you see because I wear it all the time anyways um I have one more wig there's a short bob wig that I bought from a friend in the community and I bought it at the start because I didn't have that many okay where oh yeah and actually the cap like this part here is yeah it is attachable but this part is kind of big on my head even though I tie it in the back and still yeah it is big and uh, I used to love it to go on conventions because it's short and it doesn't come on your shoulders and you can move in it because uh, have you ever tried to clean up your table vendor's table after a convention and having long uh, hair like that like all the time it's in the way so I hated it so I love, liked to wear this to convention but it's very uncomfortable right now I have other short options and uh, it's a little bit plain so I will sell it and I also had a bunch of just bangs that I could put in my hair and uh, try and find a good shade see I bought like three different ones and none were any close to my shade so I actually never worn them and so yep I think I will sell those now because I have my own bangs yay and notice lately you've been you've seen a lot of my natural hair I was looking at it today and it's weird because it's really not even even though I made it in a hair salon I have some strand of hair right real down that are super purple and on top of it you can see it's uh, more like orangey purple so that's weird anyways I like my hair I'm not satisfied by the bangs still but yep, I like my new hair okay now let's go to bigger head accessories okay this video is already long and I will not go in full detail about everything but I will show you the main things I have this very ugly top hat that could be useful but it's more like costumey I have the beret that goes with the skirt from Bodyline here. I have this very nice bear hat here that I can customize. I love it very much. This is in the bigger accessory part. It's a corset from Bodyline. It was also super cheap, like $3 or something. And so I altered it so I can uh, 
fit and even my friend Julie could wear it so yay this is my Disney ears where I removed the bow so I can put any bow for the coordinates that I wear when I go to Disney I have to not forget that this year for Disney day in uh, VidCon I have a bonnet from Me Likes Tea. It's handmade and it's very beautiful. My first ever bonnet. And I have this crown that I bought because it looks like a crown, exactly like a crown here on Mercator Antique Shop. And maybe you've seen a photo of me on Instagram, I'm not sure, when I'm putting it under my head and doing something with my hands like that because it's so heavy I bought it on Aliexpress and it has holes here technically to put maybe some kind of a touch but I don't know how to make it stay on your head longer than a few seconds and definitely on your wig because you can put more pins but it's very very pretty but I don't know what to do with it because I cannot really wear it I have wings that I wore at the Angelic Pretty Tea Party last year. This is a veil that I got sent by a company to review it uh, along with a parasol. And I thought that maybe a veil would go with the Lolita, but definitely not this fabric and definitely not white, maybe more black. So I think I will sell it because I don't really know what to do. It's too weddingy. I guess. I have the beret from Lady Sloth to go with the, the dress, my lovely macaron. I have a apron that I have not used yet, it's very nice. And this I've used maybe for the tea party from Christmas and also my coordinate based on a Christmas tree. It's uh, the wedding sash whatever from my friend Sonia who gave that to me and I have a few other hats this one I bought it even before Lolita and I worn it without Lolita and I think it's super cute but maybe a little bit too Ita and not like too small for Lolita and this one actually I worn it with Lolita but for the robotic cup and it's really too cheap and too costume and everything so I will see probably I will sell it I have now more brown things and this is it for the big accessories now let's go to my petticoats so the first that I want to show is this uh, new petticoat from me like Stee uh, it's weird because it's scented and not really my kind of perfume so it's kind of weird and I'm not really 100% happy about that, but then we'll talk about it more in a petticoat comparison video. Uh, it had six layers and I paid it around $90 and it's about the same poof as my other petticoat that I will show you. So this is one of my best main petticoat that I use all the time and um, I bought it at one of the fluffy toy suppliers and actually it's um I've seen the exact same one in the two Alice a store in Tokyo. So yeah, it's a Chinese brand. And since I talked about Milano, this is something that I bought at Milano and this is not worth it. It's a petticoat, if you can call it that. But it's really I even had to remove the scratchy part here because it was really too small but even if it has one two three layers of tool it's like nothing it's really cheap and scratchy and stupid and uh, don't buy that if you need a petticoat you can find really nicer petticoats for like 20 or 30 bucks in my lolita dress so never ever buy such a lame thing but right now i have like two or three that are stuck and i could maybe three of these could make a nice shape in a mannequin if i need to so and i have this a-line petticoat that a supplier gave to me when i bought a sample for fluffy tori 
And at first I thought it was weird with this part here, but I actually just roll it and then it's actually a nice A-line petticoat. And since I don't have any other A-line petticoat, it's kind of nice. And those are two fairy K petticoat slash skirt. I actually used to wear them, stack them to two on top of each other and wear them as a just skirts for fairy k but i don't really wear fairy k anymore so basically when i need extra poof i use these okay now let's do tote bags so this is a love of mine it's my first brand tote bag i guess i bought it at baby the session bride store in paris before it was closed i really love the print I did not really want to buy the dress and I'm so happy about this and this is my everyday shopping bag I wear it all the time in my I'm carrying it all the time in my backpack and uh, when I buy anything I use this instead of plastic bags and so I have a piece of Lolita brand with me every day I love it with the brand I also have this from Angelic Pretty and I bought it from a friend and I've actually never actually used it so technically i should sell it we'll see i don't know i think it's very pretty but it doesn't go with anything in my wardrobe and i'm actually not even having it in the bag section i don't know why i'm using the tote bags differently than the bag i have to reconsider this one i have another tote bag from angelic pretty from the tea party that is super light and pink and I have no idea what it is so yep and I have events tote bags I have this one from the gothic and lolita bible world lolita collection in 2018 when I was there to uh, do a fashion show with fluffy toy that was amazing and this one was the miss of our own where I modeled in a fashion show so that was also great and uh, most of the time the other event I went uh, as a vendor and I did not get the bag because it was only for the attendees so I've been to many more events where they had bags but I did not have them and actually I wouldn't really do know what to do with them so it's actually okay that I don't have too many. I do have more of those small tiny bags. Like I have this one from Sugar Dream Dome and uh, it's so shiny I really love it and I have also this one from Sugar Dream Dome and they're tiny and I use them to put my cord in it inside of it and when I travel I put all the small accessories together like if I travel like this summer four different events or more I put one color in this one another color in this and this is also we got that from the Angelic Pretty Tea Party uh, last year and so as a gift so I'm also using this for coordinates okay this video about the accessories is getting so long that I'm considering cutting it here and make a part two of the accessories because it's so big then you'll have actually four parts for my whole wardrobe because I have like all the socks, head bows, tiny small accessories and I want to show them to you but that's huge so Yep, I'll cut this video here and I will do a part two. Thank you so much for watching and remember, everybody can be kawaii. Bye-bye.